because of our experience with Ken Placenza, we realize everyone's unique. It's really important to remember that. And because of that, we uh, have a sampling program where customers can actually buy these little two ounce or three ounce bottles of any of our products. And what we recommend they do as, a, as what we call a clean test is to take the sealer that you're considering and use a piece of glass or a piece of tin foil to apply the sealer to. Now, why glass or tin foil? Well, they're inert surfaces. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to test just the sealer by itself. We don't want the sealer to go on a surface that might react with some of the c components that are just benignly sitting in the, in, the, in the surface. So glass is inert, foil's inert. Foil's easy because it's in your kitchen. You just pull it out and put it on there. So the idea is you put a coat on, you let it dry. Uh, we suggest overnight's the best. Let it dry. If you're going to do multiple coat application, you're going to repeat the process. You're going to try to create a micro version of your installation. Once you've got your sealers down and they've dried, then you can do your own personal testing. There's different ways people do that. People typically just smell it. So olfactory sense is the first thing they do. Some people are being treated by physicians where they're doing muscle testing, figure out if a product's safe for them. But that's the smart way and really in our minds the only way to make sure that whatever coating you're using, whether it be an AFM coating or a coating from another brand, that you go through this test analysis to make sure that that product is going to be safe for you. People have these samples, but they're mostly for decorative analysis. How does it look? What color is it? What is it? You know, how does it shine and all of that stuff? We were really focused on, that's important, but we're really focused on what's the chemical reaction here? What's going on when this is dry? I also tell people, you really don't want to test wet. Chemically sensitive people can't do testing wet because if it's wet, it's, it's, it's evaporating, it's off-gassing. Um, you want to test the dry because that's what you're going to be living with. It's the dry, finished surface that's coated which is going to be in your environment, so that's the one you want to know.